back at the Loop Live studio up here at Mammoth Film Festival, powered by everybody's favorite movie board game, Seen It, and also Rack the Planet. And I'm joined by a very special guest, my good friend, yep. my friend outside of all this, True. Max Adler. He's an actor, but he's also a judge up here at Mammoth Film Festival. Hi, Brent. Hi, Max. Thanks for having me, friend. Welcome to the fest, buddy. Oh, thanks. This is a cozy little <laughs> Good place Good to have to, you uh, here, Matt. chat with you. Thank you so much. Um, people are watching live right now on the internet, Max. So live can, on the internet? You can say on the hi, hi and anything you want to the internet. Anything I want to the internet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Max Adler here. Um, love Brett. Love how, Katie. How did you get involved with Mammoth Film Festival this year? How did this? How did you get up here? So I flew. Yeah, well, I want to talk about that, but I yeah. mean more, how did okay, you get involved so with the fest? Then we'll get into this, the story. Tanner Beard yeah. uh, was one of my first friends after moving to L.A. I went to high school with Kellen Lutz, a great Funny. actor wow. in Arizona. He moved out here first. He became friends with Tanner. So Tanner's one of my oldest friends. And then he started Mammoth with Tomic, and I've known Tanner and Tomic. And they, uh, they said, do you want to come up here and it's judge a family affair. Of, uh, That's what we've been talking about. It is. This thing, yeah. It feels like a wedding. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. It feels like this like intimate, everyone's here, everyone crossing paths. Has a lot of love, a lot of support. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he asked if I wanted to judge. And then I happened to also have a film uh, in this year's festival uh, called Good Bad Things, um, which actually means a lot to me because uh, my mom and my grandma had muscular dystrophy, which mm -hmm. I think I've talked to you about. Mm -hmm. And the lead actor of this movie, Danny Kurtzman, has the exact same form, FSH, muscular dystrophy. And so this means a lot to me. Brett Dyer, who I also think you know, yeah. um, kind of... Put, put in a good word and got me in that movie and I got him in a movie called Scrambled which just came out today on Amazon um, and uh, n another family affair but that, anyway so that's Saturday at 3.30 mm -hmm. uh, we just won the Grand Jury and the Audience Award at Slamdance nice and I will be uh and I will be moderating the Q and A the after Q &A the screening the Saturday. Screening. Dude, so yeah, lots of reasons to be congratulations, here. Congratulations, man! For you Thank guys, you. that's awesome. Um, so you're here with a movie, but then you're also here as a judge. Correct. What does that mean? It means I'm judging only the shorts, not the features. <laughs> right. So I have no, <laughs> no inside uh, yeah, jobs no, no stake in the game. Um, it means I was really blown away and impressed by a lot of the shorts and a lot of the directors, and I want to work with them and uh, their producers. It was incredible. Um, it means yes, I basically get like 80 shorts to watch. Before I even come up here. So you wow. can't be influenced by like the audience reaction, like if people are mingling at parties. Like mm -hmm. I watch them all, I make my decisions, and then I just get to come up here and celebrate. Yeah. Um, and it's great. It's just, you know, artists supporting artists and yeah. being here in person. And uh, it's incredible. We've really only been here one day. We had the party, the welcome party last night. But yep. what's your sort of impressions of the festival itself and, the, and what, you know, Tanner and, and Tomic and Alexandra and Theo have put together? I'm blown away. I've done Sundance. I've done you know South by. I've done the festivals. This, it's incredible. First of all, they're incredibly organized. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is running like clockwork. Everyone's in a good mood. There's no egos. There's no one that's jaded. They have snow like professional snow drivers that yeah. know what they're doing in the snow. Everyone's safe. Um, and again, yeah, feel, it's just, I like that like, there's like one big party at the end of the night and everyone that's here yeah. celebrates together. Yeah. It's not like this competitive, like, oh, there's like, can you get to that party? There's right. 18 parties. There's, right. like, do you, who do you know? Or like, did you, did your film sell? It's like, it feels like this, like, it really does like this like intimate like wedding and like yeah. everyone's here and everyone's like, there's just like love and support. And like, we're all like, we're in this community. We've survived a pandemic and a strike and we're here and we're in person. And, totally. and it's just kind of a, a beautiful thing that they put together. And I think it's only going to grow from here. That's the thing about Man of the Film Fest for you guys that are watching watching online if you've never made it up here before the minaret cinemas there's there's like two theaters in there right uh, two or two screens really. yeah yeah and then and then that's really about it you know you go to some of the huge festivals you can't even make it around i, I went to south by southwest one year didn't even see anything no it's too because you're just traveling around the whole time like you said and you don't know where to go and all that kind of stuff i mean mammoth is the perfect size and for, of a, for a film festival for people that really enjoy film I agree. And yeah. I have major FOMO. And so at those festivals, I'm right. like, well, I can't go to that party and that screening and right. do this interview. But this is great because it's like, oh, like we can all go see that movie. We, I'll see you tonight at dinner. We all, it's like, it's, you don't miss anything and you get to, you get to be involved. In everything well, speaking you of traveling in. to uh, a festival like this, it's, it's snowing. It's pretty good outside. It's, it's blizzardy. I mean, There's it's been coming out, I'd say blizzard. out there. You flew in. I flew in. Which is very brave of you. Do you um, want to tell us about your flight? I Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, so thanks to Tanner and yeah. the Film Festival. It's like a little private plane. Um, How which many was, people? I think 14. <laughs> 
And three of them, it was Michael Madsen. Uh, Michael Madsen, an, actor of uh, uh, Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir like five Dogs, Tarantino Kill films, Bill, all the Tarantino um, movies. And he'll tell you, he'll tell you all about it. <laughs> it was great. No, but the, the best story, I, I'm going to tell a story. And this is like, and Michael's a great guy. But yeah. so, the, so, okay, the winds are crazy. The pilot's giving us updates as we're going. He's like, well, oh, we're taking this off. This is yesterday? This is yesterday. He's like, oh, we're going to start 15 knots. Oh, we're hitting 21 knots. Oh, we're approaching 31 knots. I don't know knots, but it sounds like it's a lot of knots. And, and it, feels, it feels like we're flying around in a Ziploc bag up there. Like, literally, like, the worst landing I've ever oh, experienced. No. The point where, like, it dropped out. And, like, I feel like my stomach come up. I was holding a Bloody Mary. The drink went up, came down. Some dude up there hit his head. A girl screamed. Oh, it was intense. Oh, my goodness. So Michael Madsen turns, and he goes, you know, uh, if this plane goes down... It's going to say Michael Madsen, amongst others, killed in plane crash. Your others. <laughs> and we all cracked up. And I was like, the perfect levity we needed. Then you also started like, singing Tiny Dancer <laughs> in the exactly. plane <laughs> touchdown. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like an almost famous moment. Um, so that was intense. Yeah. But then we landed. Yeah. And, uh, and it was great. And then they did a whole, it was a crazy thing. I think, then, again, thanks to Tanner. But it was like, the flight attendant was like, we've got four very special people on the plane. We need to get them off first. But I was like, there's like, 14 people like it's <laughs> so like we're like sorry so we had to like get off and like go to our cars to get to the festival oh but God, really, really cool cool experience and i'm glad i'm not driving in the snow and flying today i'm glad so you I'm got glad a hell I'm of here. a story to tell uh thank you thank you, mammoth yeah. Film festival. thank you mammoth film festival yeah dude uh we gotta have you answer some scenic questions okay. uh, the loop live this year is sponsored by and powered by scene it america's favorite movie board game so roll the dice over there for us okay. if you please you'll uh, also notice one, one Die? Uh, sure, die. why not? You'll also uh, notice yeah. that there's a Mammoth Film Festival commemorative game piece right there. See that this on the guy? left? No, over here with the, the Wooly Mammoth right there in front of well, you. Well, yeah. This is also a commemorative game piece. Well, it is, but that one comes with the game. Oh, okay, this sorry. one is limited to dish, baby. Oh, it's just fine. for Thanks Mammoth. So Bye, guys. <laughs> All right, I'll stop. Roll the dice. Uh, okay. What do you got? Well, this is a crazy table to roll the dice on. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, five. Five. All right, number five. Here five. we go. Am I still good here? We good? Five. Five. <laughs> what movie? Involves ruby slippers and a yellow brick road and a dog named Toto. Are you kidding me? Next, pass. Wizard of Oz. Come on, go. Wizard of Oz, one for one. What movie involves a teddy bear Ted. and Hans Gruber? Uh, uh, Ted. Hans Gruber, Die Hard. Bruce Willis. Oh, die hard, no. The villain of. I was getting too cocky. Sorry, right. sorry, sorry. One for one, or one and one, I should say. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. Who directed. Might be another softball, but we'll know. see. Who directed Bridge of Spies? The uh, Post and Lincoln. Steven Spielberg. There you go. Two for three. Congratulations, everybody. Oh, I got the mammoth. Tell him what he's won. You get, yeah, take the mammoth. And, sure, then, and then return it. When and we then roll. also, here, open this briefcase. Oh, boy. Because also the Loop Live is powered by Rack the Planet. This small little briefcase, oh, the silver one there. Uh, yeah, you slide, slide the two things there. That has actual cold hard cash in it from our friends at Rack the Planet. Right. See, yeah, part of the challenge is he's got to figure out how to open the briefcase. No, see the two little the things by the latches. Right. You never been in like uh, a there you go. Uh, at a spy movie Come on, you haven't been handcuffed for one of those in a movie yet? This is the Zoolander briefcase. <laughs> oh, there's cash. There's cold hard cash in there. Yeah. And your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to just take that briefcase, either pay it forward, give the cash to someone else doing a good deed, maybe they'll pay it forward, or you use it to do something good out there in the world. From Rack the Planet, random acts of kindness. I feel like this is a trap. There's, no, there's no strings attached. Well, I want to give yeah. it to someone. Okay. Do, 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 yeah. I, do we do it now? No, take it out there in the Well, you could do whatever you want. Do I take the cash out there in the, the whole world briefcase? And the whole briefcase, if I you want. I take this whole briefcase. Or you could keep the cool briefcase and just get it out the cash. <laughs> I'll take the briefcase. I'll give, I'll give, the, I'll give the briefcase to someone. <laughs> Either way. Yeah, all right. Thank Either you. way. Thank you, tell, Racked. Tell us about the, the show times again for the screening for your film and everything before you uh, chat here. 3.30 on Saturday is Good Bad Things, mm -hmm. and I will be moderating the Q&A after that. There you go. Yeah. Go on over to Minaret Cinema, see Max and the movie at 3.30 on Saturday. And for The Loop, that's it, man. <sighs> do you feel like you've been properly looped? Uh, I do. It, it went so fast. You've There's been so much kept more in the yeah. loop? I, I'm very looped. There you go. That's yeah. Mammoth FF keeping you in the loop. Thanks, guys.